In this video, you'll learn how to connect to Google Analytics using the REST connector and use pagination with Google Analytics. Once you have installed the Click REST connector, open the ClickSense Hub. Open an app or create a new one and select Add Data from the menu. Select Connect My Data and then select REST from the list of connectors. Navigate to the Developer APIs Explorer page. Select an API method and complete the required fields for the method. You have to define the fields marked in red. In the IDs field, insert your view ID, which you can find in your Google Analytics account. You might find it useful to fill in other fields if they are relevant to your query. Be sure that the button for Authorize Request 2.0 is turned on. Select the scopes you want to authorize and confirm. In this case, when we click the Execute button, we get an error because we have not defined this field correctly. After the error has been corrected, click Execute again. If you get a positive response, you can then copy the generated URL and paste it into ClickSense. In the Key Generation Strategy, select No Keys. Use the default settings for authentication. Google authenticates with a token that we will insert in the Query Header section. To locate the authorization token provided by Google, open the Developer tool in Google Chrome. If needed, click Execute again to refresh the request. Find the authorization token generated by Google. Copy and paste it into the Query Header section. If you have more data to load than the data source can send in a single response, you can use the Pagination option. Select the Pagination type. For Google Analytics, the appropriate type is Next Token. Define the Next Token field name and the field path. Select the Is Header Field option for both field name and path. This enables the connector to construct requests for each successive page of data. Finally, name the connection and go ahead to the Select Data page. Select the data you want to load and then click the Load and Finish button. Data will be loaded into your app. So when you open a sheet, you can find the data you selected from Google Analytics. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.